For this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to roll out a slab of clay for your project. The first thing you're going to want to do is grab four to five pounds of clay and wedge it. You want to start off with a ball of clay. Once you have it into a ball, you're going to take the canvas boards that are in the back of the class. They're on the right hand side underneath the wire baskets. Once you have your clay board, you're going to take the palm of your hand and you're going to smack down the clay so it's about an inch thick. Flip it, pound the other side. Once you have it the right thickness, you're going to want to go to the back of the room and the buckets at the back of the room and get four yardsticks and one clay roller. The four yardsticks are used to measure the thickness of your clay tiles. So two sticks need to go on each side of the clay. What this do, does is it smashes the clay in between the roller and the canvas board so that the clay is ex the exact even thickness all the way around. Put both sticks, both sets of sticks on either side and use the roller to little by little roll out your clay slab. Keep on rocking it back and forth, back and forth, little bit at a time. Try not to do it all at once because you will run into difficulties. Here, the, the clay is getting too wide. You also want to make sure that nothing gets in the way and that you're really paying attention to make sure that nothing slips off. So what I did now is the clay was too wide so I'm trimming off the edges so that I have more room to keep the clay going long instead of wide. Now when I smack down the clay roller, you want to be able to see the sound of wood, not the sound of the clay when you smack it down. So use the roller and keep on pushing, keep on pushing until you make sure that it's the proper thickness. Keep on rolling it. You see right now I'm tapping it. When I tap it, you want to make sure that you just see, hear the wood tapping together, not the clay. Okay, now that it's the right thickness, I smooth it out a little bit with my hand. And now I can cut it. Now you want to get these square boards that are also underneath the wire, white wire baskets in the end of the class. Now get your needle tool and make sure it's straight up and down and not on an angle and trace over, trace around the square wooden board, wear boards. After that, take away the extra and what you're going to do is flip it and peel it onto the wear board. Now you're going to leave your tile on the board for the rest of this project. Wrap it up with plastic and get a little sheet of paper that we use for the bathroom class passes and write your name and period on it. So when you put it in the cabinet, you should have plastic and a little sheet of paper with your name. And that's it.